Hello everyone. Today's topic is blood. Nowadays, for movement from one place to another place, it's very easy due to the developed technology or the transport system is very far, very is uh, very uh, smoothly moving, taking from one person to one place to another. Similarly, in our blood. So whatever whatever we are taking in the, the process of digestion, that's the nutrient that has taken from the alimentary canal to the cell. They got through the blood, and also oxygen that is carried that's in the lungs from the lungs. How it's the it's called it, uh, the uh, the oxygen level that goes through the blood to different part of the cell, and also in the process of excretion with the kidney uh, uh, helps in excretions. That place also the uric urea uric acid is carbon uh, that's are carried through the blood. So blood play a major role in our body. The common definition of the blood is that blood is a fluid connective tissue. As it circulates around the body, allow communications between the tissue. So so blood is a fluid connective tissue. What is fluid is also uh, we are clear. This is the fluid. Fluid structure and also what is connective tissue. Tissue we know tissue are the group of cells having same structural and functional unit. So the tissue are of four types in our body: the uh, nervous tissue, epithelial tissue, connective tissue, and muscular tissue. Then the blood is come under connective tissue. So it's it's uh, circular. Around the body, throughout the head to foot, blood is moving. So the blood blood vessels allow for for the, why they are moving for the communication or the exchanging process to carry out smoothly in our body. Okay. So the functions, as I told in the definition, is transport oxygen that is from the lungs to different part of the body through blood. Then the nutrient that we eat, the food that are divided by the in the process of digestion. The from the alimentary canal, it's carried through the blood to different body parts, or the tissue, or the organ, and also hormone. The those are the endocrine endocrine gland which secretes uh, hormones that also carried through this blood to the target organ. Okay, and it's also regulate heat, body temperature also controlled by the blood. And one of the factor that is present in the blood that is the clot clotting factor. The clotting factor, what's its work? It's if you see if there is an injury or wound, you see on the place of the incision that is bleeding starts. So after a few seconds, the bleeding will be stopped. So the suggestion of the blood, suggestion of the blood is called is is called uh, is caused by the clotting factor that is present on the blood, and it's pro produce antibody. Antibody, these are the fighting reagent. They are also called the soldier of our body, and also Known as the defense system of our body. So antibody, what it will do? It fight against the infections or disease. Don't and uh, and uh, protect uh, our body from the from those diseases. Okay. Then it's all about blood. Now, what are the composition in the blood? The blood blood is two part. One is plasma. Another one is blood cells. The in blood, fifty five percent of Blood is a fifty five percent is whole blood is plasma and the rest forty five percent is blood cells. So plasma is clearly watery fluids. Okay, it is clearly watery fluids and the blood cells are again three types: RBC, WBC, and platelets. Okay, we next uh, in the uh, after this uh, plasma it is uh, first we discuss about the plasma then after discuss about the RBC platelets and WBC and platelets. So what is plasma? Plasma is a fluid part of the blood. One point. Second, the, it's contain the water. Ninety two percent of water that is present in plasma. Then so after ninety two, the seven percent, seven percent are contain plasma protein. The plasma proteins are named albumin, fibrinogen, and globulin. Okay. And the rest one questions is the inorganic, the inorganic salt, just like sodium, potassium, calcium, and manganese. What their role? The ions present in our body, they are help in 
equilibrium or the electrolyte imbalance to uh, to uh, to balance the if there is any electrolyte imbalance between the intracellular fluid to extracellular extracellular fluid is the hemostatic process is carried out and the nutrient like glucose amino acids that has uh, that are absorbed in the animal red color can move to the to the tissue or organ for their use and also carry waste products that is urea creatinine and uric acid that's uh, also carried through uh, are present in the plasma and this uh, helps in uh, and this uh, and this go for uh, further process of excretion in the kidney and the hormones are present in this plasma okay so uh, so we come to next to this what is bone marrow as, you, as i told the formation of the blood cells are occur in the bone marrow the bone marrow is a soft glutinous glutinous substance that present on the center of the bone see this is the this is one of the bone particularly bone like uh, present in the arm hip or buttock region or hand and legs that place the production of the blood cells is more suppose if this is this is one of the bone structure of a bone it see this uh, this uh, stripped lines are red bone marrow in the 0 to 1 year child if you see on the 0 to 1 year child the bone marrow is also filled with red bone marrow okay so the red bone marrow is a specialized cell that is myeloid tissue is called that is called myeloid tissue if Grow, or growing process occur then after one year you see the uh, on the bone marrow the the, the stripped lines are the red red bone marrow and this one is called yellow bone marrow that is develop in the center of the center of the bone it start to develop so what is the role of yellow bone marrow yellow bone marrow produce fatty produce the fatty tissue that's here help in for the uh, growth for the formation of bone cartilage and fats okay again as the process as the aging process uh, growing uh, progress move from the adolescence then you see similarly this uh, this red bone marrow go to the upper layer of the upper side of the bone that is called epiphysis region and the center is uh, captured or covered by yellow bone marrow similarly on the aging process if you go to the oldest you see the on the bone marrow on the only on the upper layer that is the epiphyseal region of the bone is present the rbc and the total area center of the bone is covered with yellow bone marrow so the your this how this from this uh, bone marrow red bone marrow then blood cells are formed okay so the blood this uh, uh, it's it is a bone it is a bone see this is the bone your red bone marrow and it is a yellow bone marrow from the red bone marrow there is hemopoietic cells is present hemopoietic stem cells is present on the red bone marrow from there by different process one or two stages they first develop into immature blood cells then after few reactions there's no there's turn to matured blood cells okay so the throughout the process from the hemopoietic stem through produce blood cells is called homeo uh, homopoiesis the pro pro productions of blood cells so the, in every day the red bone marrow produce 220 220 billions of blood cells okay so they are they, it's working every day they produce 220 millions of blood cells okay so this uh, this is all about the process of erythropoiesis the production of blood cells from the bone marrow next what are the mature cells are formed one is rbc wbc and platelets so rbc is also known as erythrocytes erythro means red okay so according to the color it is name is rbc right okay so it is just a disc like structure and see it is a disc like structure it is uh, uh, it is filled with this area is the, the big area is filled with hemoglobin hemoglobin is a protein attached with iron that helps for absorption of 
um, oxygen in the blood and due to this iron content this iron particle that uh, the, it helps in the combustion of the uh, so uh, the pick up of the oxygen from the uh, from the lungs and it transport this oxygen to throughout the body and in the blood cells rbc there is no nucleus okay no nucleus and no intra organelles or the, it, it, uh, this is the cell so the cytoplasm of the liquid part is the cytoplasm you will see there is nothing any organelle present only the hemoglobin is present on the rbc the life span of the hemoglobin is 120 days okay next is wbc wbc is also known as leukocytes leukocytes leuco means colorless according to the name wbc is leukocytes it is it says no color okay it is also looks the size of the uh, leukocytes see is more bigger than the rbc okay so it is the big largest bl blood cells it is round and irregular cell it is round but irregular in shape nucleus is present this part is the nucleus in every cells here here you got the nucleus and you see the suspended particle like this one this is called granules that is present on the cytoplasma okay and some of the uh, monocytes and lymphocytes you see only the nucleus there is no granules are present so if there is absence of granules it is named as R granulocytes due to the presence of granules their name is granulocytes okay this is the two types from the wbc there are two types of cells are formed blood cell form first is granulocytes another one is R granulocytes granular under granulocytes what comes neutrophily eosinophily and basophily like on under uh, granulocytes monocytes and lymphocytes are formed what there what is the role of wbc wbc produce antibody in our body so that helps to fight against any diseases or the infections not allow any disease under to enter into the body so this is also the soldier or the different system of our body as i told earlier okay next is platelet Platelet is name is defined it is very tiny the small in structure and no nucleus you see this is the tiny particles that is the platelets it has no nucleus okay no nucleus it's contain only one clotting factor that is fibrinogen that helps in suggestion of blood if there is any wound the bleeding is coming out after a few seconds the bleeding will stop due to the clotting factor present in the platelets that helps in thrombosis or the clot, clot formation on that area so it's suggestion of the blood takes place that is all about our blood cells Thank you for watching my video and please subscribe my channel.